Good evening, wonderful listeners. This is Obi Wan Name News Hour. I am Unakama Unyuchi. The first headline for this evening lawmakers calls for probe over the alleged killing of Ugochuku Chinere by police. The Abu State House of Assembly has mandated the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in the state, Uchi Ihedua, to speedily step into the murder of Ugochuku Chinere who was allegedly shot dead by men of the Nigerian police force at Obingwa local government area of the state. This was coming on the heels of an urgent matter of public importance presented by the member representing Obingwa West State constituency, Honorable Thomas Mkuru, during the Assembly's plenary session. However, Chinere was shot by policemen in an incident at the police checkpoint in Umukalika, Aziz, in Obingwa local government area. The lawmaker also said that the victim later lost his life in the hospital despite frantic efforts to save him. The second headline, Two Feared Dead, 50 Kidnapped by Bandits in Kaduna Community. Some bandits in the early hours of Friday invaded the Ungwan Gimbia community in Chikun local government area of Kaduna State, killing two persons, while over 50 members of the community were abducted during the attack. According to a source, the terrorists were said to have stormed the community on Friday, selecting their targets. Information gathered by obi wan News noted that 13 members of families were visited by the terrorists. Ugwangibia, located around Sabo, had witnessed a mass exodus of residents from the area following the activities of bandits in the area. The third headline, Civil Defense Corps arrests suspected kidnappers in Kogi State. Some suspected kidnappers have been arrested by the Kogi State Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps in collaboration with the Hunters Group of Nigeria. Parading the six suspects before newsmen in Lokoja, the Kogi State Commandant of NSCDC, Suleiman Mafara, said the arrested suspects have been terrorizing inhabitants of Oshokoshoko, Obajana and Akpata communities along Kaba Road. Mafara said the kidnappers who are between the ages of 15 and 20 years were believed to be Fulanese from Kasina and Niger states. He explained on receipt of complaints from families of victims on activities of the criminals, including kidnapping for ransom and the rape of women, security operatives swung into action and arrested them from their operational base in the forest. Items recovered from the suspected kidnappers include a locally made pistol, four single bulletproof, two material believed to be charms, rings, hoods, bangles, half bag of sesame and four liters of petroleum products. The next headline, court awards Kano's lawyer 52 million over illegal invasion of his home by security agencies. Exactly two years after the invasion of his house by security operatives during the burial of his brother in Orifiti, Justice Namdi Dimba of a federal high court in Oka, Anambra State, has awarded the sum of 52 million in favor of Ifanye Jofo, lead counsel for the detained leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdi Kano. Justice Dimba found that the security agents grossly violated his fundamental rights and consequently awarded the 50 million against the police, army, and all the security agencies as compensation for the gross violation of his rights. According to Ejofo, four persons were killed in his compound and all the houses within his ancestral home, including his brother's houses and neighboring houses, were burnt down. Abugo leaders celebrate Uguani for exploring development in their community. That's the next headline. The people of Abugo in Nkano West local government area of Enugu State on Thursday came out en masse to celebrate Governor Ifani Uguani for his special love for them, 
which they said the governor demonstrated when his administration constructed the first state government road project in the community after years of neglect by past administrations. Speaking when the governor visited Abobu on Thursday to inaugurate the asphalted 1.9 km Ugwaba Achipa on Ichaagu Road, the chairman of Nado Group, Chief Bernard Ede, an illustrious son of the community who executed the project, disclosed that the governor's special law for the community, which was evident in pioneering development in the area, spurred him to undertake the road infrastructure in support of his administration's rural development program in the state. According to him, Enugu State has witnessed more infrastructural development since Uguani's tenure, accompanied by his several visits to the community. Chief Ede told Governor Uguani that the Pioneer Road, his administration constructed in the community, has attracted development and other good things to the area. The last headline for this evening Riot in Oshobo as police allegedly kills truck driver. There is currently palpable fear in Oshobo as a police officer shot a truck driver on Friday morning, according to reports available to Obi Wan Name News. The disease, who was driving a Shikina Global Borough drilling a truck, was brutalized before he was shot dead at the Otaifun area, Oshobo. The drilling truck was broken down along Ikiru Road around 10.30 a.m. It was gathered that the driver and his crew allegedly blocked the road while trying to fix the vehicle before the police officers reached the place. An eyewitness said the police officers who came down from a mini commercial bus hit the driver with a shovel under the truck before he was shot with a pistol in the chest. Eyewitnesses said the police officers immediately after the act took off their uniforms and ran away. Now we move to sports. Manchester United Cristiano Ronaldo reacts to Michael Carrick's resignation. Manchester United ace Cristiano Ronaldo has reacted to Michael Carrick's resignation as first team coach. Carrick resigned after helping Manchester United beat Arsenal 3-2 in the Premier League at Old Trafford on Thursday. The game marked the conclusion of Carrick's spell as Man United caretaker manager following the appointment of Ralph Rangnick as the club's new interim manager. Reacting to Carrick's resignation, Ronaldo in a post via his Twitter handle on Friday said the former England international has what it takes to become a great coach. DJ to leave Man United following Rangnick's arrival, Sinclair. Former England international Trevor Sinclair has said that David De Gea will leave Manchester United following the arrival of new boss Ralph Rangnick. Arsenal scored their first goal during the Premier League game on Thursday, while the Manchester United goalkeeper lay on the ground injured. And Sinclair believes Rangnick might consider axing the Spaniard for good. Arsenal's first goal continues to cause controversy after the Gunners were allowed to score with the Gear down and facing the wrong way. The Gear got back on his feet moments later and the referee allowed the game continue and awarded the goal. Ronaldo's 12.9 million pounds moved from Juventus to Man United under investigation. Italian prosecutors have ordered a new search of Juventus officers as they continue to investigate the Serie A club. They are also probing the financial details of the sale of Cristiano Ronaldo, according to the Daily Mail. Last week, Turin prosecutors said they were looking into whether senior managers at Juventus gave false communications to investors and issued invoices for non-existent transactions. The club has said it was fully cooperating with authorities on the matter. 
Bruno Fernandes admits second Ole Gunnar Solskjaer rule has been scripted at Man United. That's the next headline. Manchester United forwards Cristiano Ronaldo and Bruno Fernandes were both on target for the Red Devils on Thursday night as they ran out 3-2 to two winners over Arsenal. Bruno Fernandes admitted a second change has been made at Manchester United since Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's exit. Ronaldo and Fernandes were both on target for the Red Devils on Thursday night as they ran out 3-2 to two winners over Arsenal. United won the match thanks to a penalty which Ronaldo dispatched. Until now, Fernandes has been Man United's primary penalty taker and even after he missed one against Aston Villa earlier in the season, Solskjaer backed him to keep taking them rather than hand them to Ronaldo. And that's the news. Thanks for listening. I am Mwakama Onyuchi and the report of this news was written by Ijoma Njoku. Keep staying safe.